Welcome, if you're new to my channel, I teach all things freight brokerage and sales. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more updates on upcoming videos. And today's video is all things freight brokerage. If you know your process, absolutely process, you're a closer, absolute process. If you know it down to the T, you know it, you're gonna win. And just because you change something, and you change it again, and you change it again, you're never going to learn. So if you do create a process, you have to try it for 30 days, like religiously for 30 days to see if it's actually working. Don't keep on changing up your process every five days because you think it's not working, because you think that it might get better. I used the same process for 15 years, and I won at it, and it was a pretty sucky process and the fact that I was using paper. But I tell you what, I did it. And because I did it, I won. Anything you stick to, whether it's paper, I'm a visual person. I liked paper. I liked my binder. I liked moving my paper from step one to step two. Once I made my phone call, once I emailed, I moved it to step two. Once I called and once I emailed, I moved it to step three. Once I called, once I emailed, I moved it to step four. Once I called, once I emailed, I moved to step five. Once I called, once I emailed, I moved to step six. And I knew that at step six, seven, and eight, I was going to win customers. Because I knew. Because I knew. I knew everything, everyone that was in step six eventually would become my customers. Because the ones that hated me, I just moved them to one day. The ones that were actually starting to like me and talk to me and remembered my voice. And when I say, hey, Jordan, how are you? They say, oh, Melissa, I don't have anything for you, but you know I'm keeping you in mind. And we, oh, no worries, no worries. Did you see that? Did you see the snow that landed in Chicago? And before you know it, we're talking. Does that make sense? That's why I loved paper so darn much because I loved that. I loved it. I loved that section of number six. If you can do it within close, I love close. Why? Because I can filter by how many times I've emailed them, how many times I've called them. You can take all of your leads and you can narrow the sort by how many phone calls. If you're calling through close, you can even know how many times you've called them. If it's more than twice, it's there. If it's more than once, it's there. If you're close, if you're doing it through close, you can do the same thing for SMS. If you're using SMSs for your dispatch business, if it's more than five, I have 28 where I've eaten SMS more than five times. Smoothly onboarding new hires, like new people, new customers, new carriers if you're dispatching, new customers if you're a broker, new shippers if you're a trucking company. Understanding that process and understanding the organization of it, okay? The first one is your prospecting. And we talked about it becoming a prospect, then it becoming interested that's what I'm using, then it becoming qualified, right? You need to have some kind of step-by-step -step process of status and understanding that status so you don't have to think about it, right? So once your prospect has become interested, what's the next step? You send them out a proposal. Whether a proposal would be sharing your information or sending them your documents or, or whatever. Once they become interested, once you have your email address, your first email, if you're calling for a broker to a shipper, your first email is just to introduce yourself. That's it. Then once they become qualified, what are the qualifying documents that they might need? If it's a shipper, you're going to need to have a, um, a credit app, like a credit app for a credit application. They might not sign it. They might send you their own finance thing. We talked on my logistics sales quarter. Nowhere in anywhere of my programs I've ever given the information did I ever talk about a qualifier being 
a shipper broke a shipper broker agreement. It's never there. Don't use it. Your shipper is the one who determines the the level of engagement. Once you run their credit, you decide whether or not if you're using a factoring company, you can cheat that way because they will determine the credit. If you do not know how to use uh, if you're not using a factoring company and you're self, you're self funded, you need to go take classes on credit and understanding Duns and Bradstreet, understanding and Sonia credit, contact those legal entities, those businesses and say, teach me how do I give credit? Show me how I determine what type of credit limit I should give a customer. That's something you will have to learn. But the qualifier is they're qualified to now get your quote, to get your business, to, for you to give them a truck, right? And then they become a customer. And once they become a customer, that means you have decided on credit terms and you've decided that you're going to move it and that equals money, which you're now going to receive money. So you have to have a well thought out process. This process needs to be done by you. Then you're going to say, I'm dreaming of a sales team. I'm dreaming of a sales team. I, I don't know how to sing. I'm dreaming of a sales team. I'm dreaming of an amazing, fantastic sales team. But I'm going to say this. The level of insight. <laughs> the level of insight begins at home. If you can't do the process, I can guarantee you the laws of physics, the laws of God, the laws of everything, everything is around what you do, what you put into it, your effort into it. The laws of business, the very law of business means that if you can't do the work and you're not doing the work, you certainly can't get anybody else to do the work and you'll end up frustrated. Take it from me. Take it from me of how many times I failed. Even during COVID, I failed. I panicked. I took a customer I shouldn't have took and I lost $30,000. I panicked because I've never been in a pandemic before. I've never seen all of my customers dry up like that. I panicked. It won't ever happen again and I'm still facing the consequences of it. But I'll tell you what, you have to be prepared to understand that there has to be well thought out sales steps. Say, I'm going to be, I'm going to think through my process. I'm going to create a process. I'm going to write out the process and I'm going to make sure that I'm doing the process. If you can't do it and you want to go around and say, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Simply, what are you doing wrong? You're not doing the process. That's what you're doing wrong. If you make 50 phone calls one week and don't follow up for a month, you've already broke the protocol. The fact is, is that if you set the tone to make 50 phone calls for a week and that's your goal, you should be following up every week with those 50 phone calls. My goodness, that wouldn't be too hard if you only made 10 phone calls a day. 10 phone calls a day could take you 30 minutes. So you can't invest 30 minutes into your business? Think about that. Did that video blow your mind or what? So much information. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications.